Spirits of all walks of life and different sizes came here to refuel themselves socially, immersing themselves in the haven that is the youth center. This is a mission in itself to find the clues and unlock the mysteries of the man who was proficient in computer science and so forth from who he had the golden age of sound and technological zenith within our little youth group environment. But why did this man forfeit his abundance of joy to pursue a personal vision within his own, to calm his own, and thus pursued a dream to go to South Carolina and sell copying machines? Whence, whom amongst us has not felt the associate and economic hunger pangs around us, forfeiting an otherwise utopian enlightenment of realism that is replaced by such an unstable system when otherwise punching through the internet? Yeah. At what momentum and velocity could such a monstrosity applain such a tr Whoa, dude, did you, did you see that? What was yeah, what? Dude, what, what was that? Go, go back to it. Go, 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 go. Could that be? No, uh, dude. You think? It's just, no. Some lunatic. I thought he was in. I thought he was in South Carolina. Followed the phantom and tried to learn the ways of his craft, trying to pick up the pieces of this puzzle. This mystery shrouded under an enigmatic integral, topographically we derived an equation that led us to the current whereabouts of this possible sighting of JD. That is, somewhere within the vicinity of the WPI campus. That could have been. Could have been. That, that, I don't know. I mean, I think it very well could have been. At least a phantom of an apparition of JD, if not JD himself. I mean, in the 1600s, forensic scientists have actually concluded that the idea of teleportation isn't as tribal as they handle them as they care to believe. True. I mean, whole science, basic, basic forensic specialists in the 1600s, did not doubt the actual existence of metaphysical particles being able to teleport from one province to another. If that indeed was JD, there's no way we can prove it either way. True.
this anyway. All of this. I just wanted to make one more Awkward Moments video. See? I got my camera. Oh, hey. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Today, scientists will look towards the stars and with little avail, forever disregarding the painful, obvious proclivities that reside in central Massachusetts, momentarily within this rapture, as we capture, nay fracture, all adversities and doubts as to the technological sounds and sights, bequeathed in their steadfast might all right, knowing that there was some light in an otherwise complexity of plight, as Holdenite's fight futilely clouded in the confines of night. That's tight, Hey guys, stuff. please, hi, good to see you. Everybody shut up, thank you. <laughs> ready? How do you really feel? <laughs> Alright, ready? Yeah. Long was it he was here who helped rot a foundation for the youth within these walls. We are changed that. <laughs>